What's up everyone? My name is Jordan. Welcome back to a brand new video down here today to tell you about a equipment change that I am making for 2021 and um, it's in the golf ball department. For majority of this year I have been using the TaylorMade TP5 Pix Ball and I got these for a gift and I um, I thought maybe the alignment aid here in the center with the Pix pattern might help me a little bit with putting but um, Putting is all about the work you put in, and honestly, I don't think a ball is going to help me that much. But even said, I've just enjoyed using this ball. The um, the cover feels really good, The especially, especially the urethane cover, honestly. I've been guilty of using those balls that are a little cheaper to save some money, but I've noticed really that my game is just better when I use a more premium ball like this or Pro V1. And... The only problem with it is I really am not wanting to spend fifty dollars on a box of balls every couple of every month or every couple of months, but I want to have that premium feel. So bring in the Vice Pro Plus ball. This is a ball that is also made of urethane. It's a four-piece construction. It offers the spin characteristics that I am looking for in my short game and off the driver face. Um, low spin off the driver, but with better spin numbers on short game, which I don't generate a lot of spin in my short game with my wedges. I just have never really been able to figure out how to do that. But um, over the past couple of months and past year or so, as I've gotten a little bit better with my golf game and with the... Um, with the new wedges that I bought last year, I started to see a little bit more distance, um, not a distance, I started seeing a little bit more spin on the greens, which I am very happy to see. And it's probably more because I've switched to a better ball that gives you a little bit more spin. But I went with Vice because like I said, that I'm a fan of their golf balls. I went through their ball fitter to see which ball would be best for me um, in the long run here. And it recommended the Vice Pro Plus to me. I actually had to buy them on Amazon because they were sold out on the website. But um, I was introduced to Vice through YouTube, honestly. A lot of guys on YouTube reviewing them, using them, and I did some research on them. Found that this ball is pretty much, I, won't, I don't want to say the same, but it's very similar to other premium balls for like $15 less. And honestly, when you're not when you are just doing golf as a hobby, $15 every box, that's a lot of money throughout the year. So having to save that $15 for a, a premium cover and a just a good feeling ball is something that I am always looking for. And I'm very comfortable sticking around that like 30 to $35 range for balls. And when I was looking at them, you know, you got your Tour Soft, Tour Speed, excuse me, from Titleist, your tailor-made Tour Response. Um, I assume the Q-Star ball is also in that price range. I haven't really done much research on Strixon or Callaway because I've used those balls in the past and I just don't really care for them. But um, this ball is the premium ball for Vice. It's their best ball. It is the ball that is at the top of the list for Vice while those other balls are their second or third tier balls. So the fact that I can get a premium ball like this for the price of one of the um, non-premium balls for other brands is something that I'm always looking for and I'm excited to get on the course with these and play them. I'm going to bring them to our trip to one of Maine's top five courses. If you didn't see the video the other day, we are heading up to one of Maine's top five courses, former number one here in the state of Maine, and a uh, top 100 golf course according to Golf Digest. I saw a little documentary about them last night and uh, it was on the list. So I'm really excited to get out there. I'm really excited to bring that video to you as well. That will be coming not next week, but the week after. We are heading up there next Saturday to play. And I'm um, just hoping the weather's good and hoping it's a good time because the course looks amazing and I cannot wait to get out there. So be on the lookout for that. That'll be coming not this coming week, but the week after, like I said. And um, if you're not subscribed, make sure you are so you don't miss that video. Make sure you're checking out all my other videos in the links in the description because those are all my social medias where you can find my TikTok. Approaching 500 followers on TikTok and uh, I would appreciate anybody who sees this go over there and follow me over there if you're not already. 
So my name's Jordan. I'll see you next time. Have a good week and play some good golf.